Hey guys, it's Luke Mick here, and this is my review for Insidious Chapter 2. So Insidious, released in I believe 2011, was a pretty damn good horror movie. I liked it, and the end really stuck it to me. I thought the ending was terrifying, and it still haunts me to this day, and now we have a sequel that picks up right after the events of the first film. I really wish they didn't make a sequel. Um, I just like the way the first one ended, not really knowing what happened exactly, and just that, that fear of just not knowing. It's like, okay, they're pretty much boned, and, but now we have this sequel that sort of ties up some loose ends from the first one. And although the movie was enjoyable, this second one, I really just wish they had not made it, and I'll explain it more in the review. So the story is basically about Patrick Wilson, the dad. He isn't himself. That woman from the first one is inside of him, and he, he's going to try to kill the whole family. And the movie is basically about how they're trying to fix him. I mean, I'm sure you guys probably know. Now, I thought the story, it really didn't hook me at first. The first, like, 20 to 25 minutes, I just really wasn't liking it. It was just a lot of creeping around the house, and nothing was really happening. And I was like, well, this is kind of boring. There just isn't a lot happening. And then all this crazy stuff um, started to happen that was, it really didn't make sense at some parts, but uh, it, you know, it, it got me more into the movie. It made me feel more involved, and uh, I was entertained by it. So the movie, the, the story, I'm sorry, the story, it gets pretty interesting in my opinion. Um, some of the, the connections they make and what happened to this and that. You kind of have to see the movie to know what I'm talking about. But it, it did get me going for a while, um, until the very end, pretty much, and uh, it is very messy and convoluted. I think at some parts, some of it doesn't make sense, but overall, I think the story does its job, um, you know, and it, it, it works, uh, at the very least. The performances here mostly are good. Patrick Wilson, I was quite impressed. Uh, he gets really sinister and despicable at some parts, and I really like seeing that. Rose Byrne is kind of there, and she... Uh, she just like she was in the first one. And the kid Dalton, their son, who was possessed or whatever, in the first one, I actually thought he was a pretty good actor in this movie. And sometimes I don't like child actors, a lot of times, actually. But I actually liked his uh, performance in the movie. And there's a scene with him that actually was very disturbing, in my opinion. You guys will probably be able to know what I'm talking about if you see the movie. And obviously with the James Wan film, you get the great, eerie atmosphere and cinematography with the movie. I mean, it, it, it all feels nice, but then it also has this weird feeling of the whole movie's a joke. This one was definitely a lot funnier than the first Insidious. It can set up some creepy scenes, but I feel like there are way too many jokes being passed around. I don't know, the movie just, it, it felt very weird, um, tonal-wise at some parts. Is that a word, tonal? I think that's a word I can use. I don't know. So, overall, I thought Insidious 2 was an entertaining movie with some pretty good performances. Um, it, it was just really convoluted, really kind of unnecessary, and it, a lot of times it was kind of dumb. I mean, it was directed well and everything, but it just had some glaring problems that I really didn't like too much about it. And that kind of leads me back into I don't think they should have made the movie, even though I thought it was completely entertaining. You know, I wasn't ever really bored with it. Um, I enjoyed the movie. I don't think it should have been made because I really do like the way the first one ended with that not knowing kind of thing going on. So I'm going to give the movie three out of five stars. Um, obviously, if you've seen the first one, you should probably check this out. And you probably will. It doesn't live up to the first one really at all. But uh, it's an all right horror movie. It just gets really jumbled up and messy. So this is Luke Mick. Um, as always, please subscribe and I will talk to you guys later.